What's going on guys? It's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video and guys if you're watching this video uh, This is supposed to be released tomorrow night Friday night uh, Afternoon sometime. I'm probably getting ready to head out to the Diamondback game. I'm in Phoenix already uh, These are all pre-recorded for today and tomorrow. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy hope you guys love them But let's get right into current myth with the bear and uh, for all of you who are praying for our safe trip and safe travels Thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you when we get back into town on to current events with the bear <sighs> folks um before i get into this i want to let you guys know that i usually find these off of um i won't call i don't like calling media legit because most media exact over exaggerate uh unfortunately um but they come from uh, actual known uh media so yeah there's that anyways let's get on to the stories um and i can't make these things up i'm not that creative i I wish I was. Maybe I am, but not with these stories. I'm just not. Anyways, let's get on to the story. In Montana, I think you guys have probably heard already of the fires that are happening in Montana. And the, and the, and the arson um, detectives, uh, investigators, think they have found the cause to those fires. A hey, snake. Okay, okay, snake, calm down. No, I'm not exaggerating. Guys, this is not no Chinese prophecy of us dragging up those fire. No, 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 no. This snake doesn't blow fire. What had happened is it involves a hawk. The hawk was hungry and wanted dinner. And either the hawk wanted extra crispy snake or the snake wanted extra crispy hawk. And he was just playing the hawk the whole time. But anyways, it hit a power line causing the fire. And yeah, a snake caused the fire. Well, a snake and a hawk. Uh, we just can't figure out which one was actually the mastermind behind the whole thing. But they did cause the fire. In New York. Oh boy, I don't. I, 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 guys, I have a show I really love. And it's called The Stupidest Criminals, The Dumbest Criminals, uh, whatever it's called. Um, and it's a funny show with criminals that just don't use their brain. Uh, I think if you're being a criminal, you're not using your brain anyways. But these guys have a special place in their brain that they just flip everything off. Anyways, they're disconnected up there somewhere. <clears throat> New York City police officers were in search of a suspect. Um, I believe it was last Saturday night. I'm not for sure exactly on the date. But was in search of a suspect. Um, this gentleman had robbed a woman on the subway. Now, here's the first problem with this because the woman was sleeping on the subway. First off, guys, if you've ever been on a subway, you know it's not the best place to sleep in, guys. Uh, you may not want to take a nap in a subway, uh, on the train, traveling. Because there's some sketchy people that do get on those trains too. I'm just saying. But anyways, all in all, her purse got stolen and her iPhone was in the purse. I know. But some off or not off duty, but undercover police officers, unmarked police officers were searching for the suspect in the subway, trying to see if they could still find him. And one of the police officers, I guess, decided to use the Find My iPhone app. Now, nothing's going to happen, right? No, it's not, no. While the police officers walk walking through the subway, they look up to find a man holding a phone with a loud pinging noise going off the woman's phone. Because if you guys don't know what Find My iPhone app is, I guess it gives off a pinging noise on the phone where you could locate your phone. Some of us lose our phones a lot, so uh, it's probably good to have. Um, but at the same time, it seemed to help the police officers on this day. Huh. So they caught the suspect thanks to the I Find My iPhone app. Awesome job, guys. Uh, you didn't think your app was going to save or take down the suspect, did you? Anyways, moving on to an Ohio man who decided to torch his own trailers. And I'm saying trailers because he said his trailer's on fire due to drug use on the properties. This man rents these trailers out and he said he's tired of renting them out to drug abusers. And he decided to torch his own trailers. Yeah, because that's the first option I have. But anyways, um, and he was trying to put them out when the fire department showed up. Uh, they gave him a warning, um, but yeah, so he tried to torch all his trailers because of, uh, uh, drug use. Now, my question here is, was he on drugs? I'm just asking. 
Calm down. Just ask it. Anyways, moving on to the next one. German police. Yes, we're talking about the German police here. If you're from Germany, my apologies, but I want to talk about them for a second, okay? Just bear with me, okay? Bear with me. The German police on hunt for Nutella. Nutella. You guys don't know what Nutella is? It is a chocolate spread that comes in this little container. And, you know, you can wipe it in a diaper and pull, uh, prank some people because they actually think it's poop. I'm just saying. That's why I don't eat it very often. Um, after you prank someone with it, then you just think of it every time you see it. Anyways, they're on search for Nutella. Why are they on search for Nutella? Because a truck carrying 22 tons of the spread was stolen. And this is number one priority. Because um, American cops love donuts. Germany cops love Nutella. You better find that Nutella. Someone somewhere is upset because they don't got that Nutella tonight. Moving on to my final story of the day. Chick, chick, Chick-fil-A. If you've never had Chick-fil-A, guys, you're missing out. I'm telling you right now. Chick-fil-A is some good food. Uh, just don't go to the restaurant on Sundays because they are closed. Now, they've been closed on Sundays since 19-something. Uh, uh, the, the owner back then said that he wanted one day to allow the people who worship uh, to have that day to worship and for everybody else who comes in to work every day to have a special day off. And it, it kind of works out, and they like it, They and so they continue to um, do that. Well, there were questions because Chick-fil-A has decided to open a restaurant in the new Atlanta Falcon Stadium. They have. So the question was, the Falcons play primarily, like any other NFL team, primarily on Sundays. Chick-fil-A announced that they will remain closed on Sunday. Now, when this announcement came that they would be put in Chick-fil-A, I said it's not going to work because Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday, and that's when they have the football games. So I guess the Chick-fil-A is going to be open like on Saturday nights when they have concerts, stuff like that. But not on Sunday for the football game. Maybe if they have some football game, college football games there, I don't know. But um, I don't know how it's going to work. But yeah, Chick Fil A made the announcement, and there are tons of people upset about it because they're not going to get their Chick Fil A. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you are one of those people who are upset because you're not going to get your Chick Fil A, don't worry because there's a bunch of people in Germany upset because they're not getting a Nutella either. So we could just go with that. I'm going to get on out of here. That's the current events for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys loved it. Hope you guys keep watching. I mean, anyways, if you liked it, you can hit, click, click right down there. That like button. Just hit it. If you want, you could comment. If you think one of these stories was just off the wall and crazy, comment. Let me know. Hit that comment button and then just start type, 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 type. And if you really, really liked it, you could share it to your friends. Let them know about this channel. But as always, if you are not subscribed and you like what you see and you want to see more of this or more of what I've already posted on the channel, hit that subscribe button because I will love to have you added as a subscriber. And that's all I got for today. So I'm going to get on out of here. As always, everything's in the description below. This is Big Bear signing out. God bless. I'll see you when I get back from Phoenix. Peace.